There are many ways how empirical knowledge can be full of failure. There are many things how science creates knowledge and thereby makes mistakes. We all know that we are in this somewhat epistemological blurriness whenever it comes to the real world and how science tries to pack it into knowledge. So what mistakes can we make? What are the different parts? First of all, the questions that we ask. So in other words, what we do want to know, what we want to find out about. This is the first thing where we can be wrong. Maybe because this thing cannot be known, we shall never know it. Or we just ask altogether the wrong question. So that's the first thing where we can obviously go wrong. The second thing is how we try to explain it. And that doesn't mean that it's only in a sheer quantitative sense. This can also be qualitative information. And that's very important to remember that we can also go wrong there. How we try to explain things, how we try to unpack them. So that's a bigger question then also that is related to that. That is the question of causality, whether we can explain things, whether one thing can explain the other, whether they are in some way causally linked. So whether one thing is depending on the other thing, whether one thing follows another thing, all these things are related to that. But what is more important is what is random noise that still on a systematic level influences the whole thing. This is where we come into realms of bias, where all sorts of group biases or other underlying harmonic patterns or mechanisms may influence what we do wrong in our methodological applications. Lastly, what we also needn't forget when we are still in the empirical realm is that the whole underlying model, may it be a statistical model, may it be the choice of a qualitative method, may be altogether wrong for the knowledge that we are aiming for. So we might even be on false assumptions when it comes to the choice of the method. And that is overall the gravest mistake that we can make within science. But then there's another even bigger mistake and that's now the penultimate one and that is the mistakes that we make because we are people. So scientists who do empirical work make mistakes not only in the choice, not only what they want to know, how they explain it, how they can make sense of causal or other links and how they can even learn about all the biases and other problems that are associated. But how we conduct science. We make mistakes. We might mislabel something, we might misplace something, we might make all sorts of errors that add a certain graininess, if not total falsehood, to our science. And that is important to remember because this is the humbling element you get out of empirical science that there are things to be known and this can be wonderful, but there are also many mistakes to be made and this is equally wonderful because it can open up a world where you understand that you are limited that there's nothing to be known, at least in the empirical realms, that will be uh, all perfect, splendid, shining, 100% knowledge. So, and that's one of the most important learning curve for any scientist, not to learn only what you do right, but also what you do wrong, so that you can not only learn to avoid this wrongness, but that you also see that you will continue to make mistakes. That is what I think is very important when it comes to all the flaws and errors we make as scientists who use methods.